Hi guys, this is Hyun Max aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we have the Rafinha SPC that was actually just released. Right, so the requirements are actually four squads, right? And it comes up to about 392k. So if you actually take a look at the squads itself, right? I believe it's a 85, 86, 87 and an 88 squad, right? So four squads close to 400k. So let's take a look at the stats. So for trades, he has the outside the foot shot trade. He's 4 star, 4 star, right? so no upgrades there. With the high high work rates. 5 foot 9 with the lean body type. So pace is 97 acceleration with 98 sprint speed, which is perfect. Attack positioning is 91, shot power is 92. Finishing is at 86. So vision is at 86. Passing, short passing is 85, long passing is at 83. Right, 97 agility with 90 balance, 96 dribbling, and then 92 reactions with 93 ball control and 90 composure. Right, all these are all, you know, great stats. He has 97 stamina as well. So, what is the camp style for him? I think definitely a dead eye. We're coming to the point whereby. Whether you have 97 acceleration or 99 acceleration, right? You're not gonna feel it in game. So I don't see a need to boost the pace. So the day I right actually gives him a much needed boost to his shooting stats as well as his passing stats. We'll be playing him in this team. Definitely, he's gonna be playing on a full cam, right? We're gonna start him out as a right winger in a 4-2-3-1 formation. Right, everything is just on default. Right, I just want to see how his attacking AI would play with this set of instructions, and then in subsequent games we probably would prime out in a different position. Right, maybe at camp, we shall see. And yeah, you know, hopefully he's good. Look at this. There's this like, you no, know, there's this like speed up lag. I don't know what's that, man. It's just like speed up you know suddenly the, the game becomes like super fast i i don't want that on the, my youtube video right good run rafinha when you enjoy that amount of right and he's lost custody of the ball here so i saw rafinha made that inward run to cross Mbappe chance to put them in front and still danger let's go good pass by Rafinha let's go Ronaldinho's first goal we take it man we take it Spicy boys have certainly had more of the ball up to this point, as you can see from those stats. And that's been because of their ability. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Rafinha's dribbling is super smooth. Joao Cancelo. Right, make the run. Delightful good run, pass. good run, Rafinha. Can he finish? Oof! Guys, I'm not gonna lie, right? The gameplay feels kind of, kind of good. Good run by Rafinha, man. There's no lag at all. On attacking possibilities. Rafinha. Right. Can they forge ahead? They do, and you've got to. The ball with Zabitza. Really good vision there from Johan Cruyff. Let's go. Good goal, Rafinha. So Rafinha's run in behind, right? It's very quick, very rapid. Right, run, Rafinha, run. Let's go. What a run, Rafinha. Can he do it? Ronaldinho. 
Did you find the channel first, Hussein, or did Sly find the channel first? Alright, run, Rafinha. Well, not hard to read that pass. Rafinha is absolutely rapid, man. The run in behind. Joao Cancelo. Guimaraes. Alright, good run, Rafinha. Potential danger here. And cut again from the flank. And still looking to get the shot off. Oh, good comeback by Rafinha. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Incisive pass from Mbappe. Go. Committed challenge. And threaded through by Mbappe. The gameplay feels crazy, man. It feels so fast. I've never felt it this fast before. Is everybody asleep? Is that why? Right, good assist by Dino. Good assist by Dino. Good goal by Rafinha. Good assist by Dino. Good run, Rafinha. Good goal, let's go. Good comeback by Rafinha. Let's go, man. It might, it might just be the gameplay. That's... You know, I can never, I can never dribble like that in like normal times. So the gameplay right now, right, is the best I've ever. I've been trying to buy this like Lakers shirt, but it's always out of stock, man. I'm enjoying myself so much, man. I haven't enjoyed myself in such a long time in FIFA. Alright, run, Rafinha. Good run. What a run by Rafinha. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Shot attempt. And a time for calm on the ball. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? And it goes! The leveler! Here's Rafinha. Johan Cruyff. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Rafinha. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? Mbappe! And here's the lineup for the Spicy Boys. Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. Johan Capdevila starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Oh, Derek, big moment here. What a, what a goal, man. What a goal. Right. Okay, I'll try it later when I score. Promising possession, this. Still could put it away. A glorious chance. Put an end to that attack. Good ball, good ball, Dino. Decent position. Bruno Guimaraes. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Good ball, good ball, Dino. Drive. Drive. What? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. 
Yes, yes. What a goal. What a goal, guys. What a goal, man. Oh my god, this gameplay is absolutely crazy. So we managed to play, I would say, about four games or so with Rafinha. He has four goals and three assists. So that's basically almost two attacking return every game. We will be playing him right in the camp position for the next few games. He's just going to have stay forward as his instruction. And hopefully, you know, he's able to play in that role. Let's go, Rafinha. We'll be lucky with the with the bounce, but we take it. Let's go. What a cutback by Rafinha, man. What a cutback by Rafinha. Good movement. I am actually how though so after playing five and a half games with Rafinha because we had uh, kind of two rage quits he has uh, five goals and five assists so that's basically two attacking returns every game let's talk about the pros of the card one thing that I've noticed right is Rafinha's run in behind the defense right it's lightning quick Right, he's basically rapid when making runs in behind. You can definitely right, feel that 97 acceleration on his cut. The dribbling is you know, top notch as well. No complaints there. So something that really surprised me is the passing. right? How good the passing was on this cut. Given that his base passing stats right, is 86 vision with 85 shot passing. Right? But in game, right, you know, he probably passes something like more like, you know, 95 and above in terms of stats. So the passing is something that is a pleasant surprise for me. Yeah, so those are the good things about the cut, right? His, his finishing is pretty good as well, right? I have no complaints there. So, you know, any cons about the cut? I would say no, I don't really see there being any con despite him having that high defensive work rate so we need to determine right now right what is his best position right i think it's definitely out as a winger we try him out in that camp position he's pretty competent in that camp position but i think that uh, he's best suited as a right winger so with that in mind the dead eye chemistry style is definitely the best way moving forward for him because, like I mentioned at the start of the video, right, he has 97 acceleration. So let's put him into the tier list. S, A, B, or C. I have to say, right, I'm enjoying this cut so much, right, that, that I say that I will put him in the lower S tier. I know he's like 4 4, right, and probably where we are at right now in the game, probably need. A 5 star either on the weak foot or on the skill moves. But his attacking AI is so intelligent that I think that right this pushes the cut right to the S tier level. So he's a lower S tier level for me. If he had a 5 star weak foot or skill moves, right, he probably would be like mid S tier. So he actually right plays really really similar to DRB, right? So similar to Rafinha. DRB, right? Actually, right, when he makes that run in behind, right, the defense, right, you can feel his rapid speed. You know, the way that DRB makes his run in behind, right, probably reminds me of somebody like Kylian Mbappe. And Rafinha has that same trait as well. So DRB, you can definitely feel that 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed, right, when he actually makes that run in behind. So Rafinha has that as well. In terms of dribbling, you know, they feel very similar, even though... DRB has a uh, 99 balance, right? So I would say that, right, between these two cards, right, Rafinha probably has better finishing. In terms of speed and how good they feel on the ball, right, they're probably similar, but Rafinha ages it 
for me in terms of finishing. I think Rafinha's finishing is better. DRB, however, right, has the three star weak foot, but it's compensated by the fact that he has five star skill moves. Right, he has high low instead of high high work weight. So who would I prefer? I would say right, I probably would take Rafinha. I think Rafinha is a little bit better. So we also have somebody like um, Saka, who's currently about 490k. 4 star, 5 star. Now again, you know, Saka, this version of Saka, right, this POTS version is actually very usable. Unlike his previous versions that I've tried, right, I've tried other versions of Saka and he was horrible. This version is pretty decent. You know, I would still say, right, Rafinha is better because Saka's attacking AI, right, is not as intelligent as Rafinha's. So to answer the question, right, is Rafinha worth it to complete at 390k? I would say yes, go get him done, especially if you run a La Liga team. I think he can do a very, very good job for you, right, as a winger, whether on the right or on the left. So, yeah. No, he might be a little bit expensive, but with the stats that uh, this card have, as well as how he plays in game, he is 100% worth the price for me, right? At 390k, 100% worth the price. So that's it from me. I've come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more player reviews, right? Trading videos, how to craft SPCs, hit that sub button to the channel. And we are in the weekend league period right now. You guys can check out my tactics video whereby most of the viewers who use my tactics actually mentioned to me that they have been getting between 3 to 4 more wins. Right, so do check out that video if you want to get better rates for your La Liga. And I'm out. Alright, take care guys.